Hello and welcome back to another video. So today uh, we have Felicity over there. I don't know why she appeared, uh, but she never gets into the house. And Kaylee is very, very pregnant. She's going to make some mac and cheese for the family because she has to feed for her family. And I'm really hoping she has twins. So there's Alessandro. He actually aged up in the last part. And so I changed his outfit and his hair in the last part. So you haven't seen that part. Go watch that one first because that one's pretty interesting when I'm picking his outfits and everything. And here he is eating some cake that uh, Kaylee actually baked for her for his birthday. And since we have a child sim, I had to remodel a little bit. So there's that. Putting the plates in the trash can because we have to utilize the money that we can make from that trash can so we can move into the house that I actually built for them to move into next after this house and that video is also on my channel under build and in the 100 baby challenge playlist and so here one of them is working on their movement and I guess the state of the toddlers is okay like there's, there's nothing too bad they're just kind of chilling and Alessandro is actually being really helpful. He's washing up. And I am going to actually make him clean that potty because, you know what, he's the eldest. He has to kind of pitch in because, you know, there should be a lot of toddlers in this house. And I actually downloaded uh, MC Command Center just for this challenge because before I was strictly base game a player, but right now... Because of this challenge, I want to break the household limit so I can have more than eight sims. Because imagine how crazy it's going to get and how fun the craziness will be. And it's going to honestly take forever to do 100 babies if I don't break the household limit. So some rules are made to be broken. And... Uh, she's doing a lot of gardening off camera, so Kaylee has been earning a steady income from that. And so we actually have some new beds that I put in last episode. And er everyone's just relaxing. And she's about to give Crystal a bath, I think. And here's some potty training. And she also needs to potty because... She is very pregnant. And hopefully this time we'll have twins. Hopefully. Oh, it's winter. Look at that. The seasons are really changing. Have to earn that money. I mean, I wish the Sims would do the plates into the trash can by themselves. But no. It's not happening, so... Something to keep me busy. And the garden also keeps me busy. Well, it keeps Kaylee busy. Oh, gardening level six. That's crazy. Look at Alessandro cleaning up that mess outside. He's getting responsibility. That's exciting. So I hope he has uh, some really nice manners and responsibility and emotional control by the time this is over. Well, by the time he reaches adulthood, because that's when I think those uh, ranges finalize. So it's going to actually be really exciting to age up a sim to the point where I can see the benefits of doing like a generational family. Uh, because if you make your sim as an adult, you don't get the special characteristics that you do if you raise them from childhood. Some more cooking, because we have to feed the family. I hate when food spoils. You just make it, and then you forget it, and you leave it on the counter, so then you have to... Oh my god, the computer broke? Oh, This is a little rough right now. That plate is just floating. Oh boy. He just picked it out of thin air, and he's still holding it? What is going on? What is going on? 
Oh, and it's funny that children can flaunt wealth in the game, which that was the first time I saw that interaction because I don't really play with child sims. Oh. Thumbnail? Why do you just want to randomly cloud gaze? Oh, royalty report. There's some Somalians there. Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, little grief for baby Damien. So sad. Did I not write an epitaph? Can I? I'm really showing up. Um, I feel like my toddlers are always in a bad mood. I really want to hire a, na a maid and a nanny, but that's just money. And I want to move them into that bigger house as soon as possible. But at the rate this is going, I don't know how long it's going to be. I think I really need to focus on one of the adult sims and fulfill a lot of their whims so that they have enough satisfaction points in order to buy a money tree because that should be like an easy seven grand at first per day. And then I could probably afford that house in like 10 sim days, which should be pretty fast. And then they could get out of this terrible little deconstructed, restructured, restructured micro home. No, it was a tiny house and now it's not with a shed. Just a lot going on. It's cute, though, that Kaylee likes to interact with that uh, bulletin board by herself. And then the magical trash can to the rescue so we can get that house faster. And if my plan is also not to replace things if they break. My plan is to fix them. So then Isaac will get some handiness skill. One. Two, he can use the handiness skill and work on the wood bench. So that will be an extra source of income. I'm just, I'm just ha hacking away. Grinding my sims so they can move them to the house that I made for them. And I think that's a good thing because, well, good thing that I have a house lined up for them. Because then it's like, okay, I have to work towards something. So then when they move into that house, um, I have to set a new goal. See, maybe see how many kids I can fit in that house. Uh, what's the max I can, max toddlers I can have at once maybe uh have a nanny like all the time to see like what's the true limit that I can handle without cheating oh creativity three interesting okay Alessandro oh good morning Kaylee of course she has to pee when she gets up like this is this always happens I just want her to give birth already okay please eat eat everyone eat Food, glorious food. The water. Oh, I got 50 simoleons from putting water into that trash can. Like, that's crazy to me. And of course, I have that thermostat set to warm because it is winter. And thumbnail. Look at them eating. I wish they had a normal, like, dining area. That may, might be my next change to this house. Because, well, I know they're not eating all at the same time, and they can sit on their bed to eat and can sit on the couch to eat. Oh, she wanted to labor! She's showering and in labor. Okay, so I'm going to send her to the hospital by herself, so hopefully we don't have a glitch again. Oh, wait, she's giving... Oh my gosh, she's giving birth here. Please don't glitch, please don't glitch. Please, 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 please. And it's a girl. Okay, so it has to be a D name. Let's see what D names there are. I don't like that one. You know what? I'm gonna name her Daisy. Daisy. I decided to stay on the same letter as Damien because technically I don't feel like I can include him in the 100 baby challenge because he didn't really become a baby. So that's why 
Daisy. So we have Alessandro, Beckham, Crystal, and Daisy. So it's two for two. Which makes sense. Got to take that family leave. Because then he gets paid for, uh, like, work. But then he also can work at home by making stuff on the, the web table. This missing toy. Huh. Okay, responsibility increases. It's kind of weird how there's opposite, like, how they do the... Like the manners and all that new trait thing, as uh, I think it's the whatever family pack it is, that it you would think that oh responsible irresponsible that like complete opposites would be on like the spectrum, but then they do like emotional control and responsibility as opposites, which I get it. It makes it kind of easier to. I guess program slash like there isn't too many factors at once like there is oh you also have this and needs but you just wouldn't expect responsibility and emotional control to be on opposites and look at him playing with his baby sister that's so cute and we got to make sure she's fed because we don't want any Oh, we're going to take your baby away because they're not fed. Notifications. Like, I know they're hungry. They should be able to get the food off the plate themselves. I'm sorry they don't, you know, I said have the free will set the hind, but they don't follow their free will. And look at Alessandro doing that by himself. What a helpful son. So I think I'm going to feed the baby and then I'm going to age her up right away. And also get pregnant. Will Kaylee get pregnant? Because this isn't the 100 challenge, 100 baby challenge for nothing. So we gotta, gotta make it work. Okay, level up. I'm being intelligent. Alessandro is being very independent and I'm loving it. Like, yeah, I, I like tell him to do stuff sometimes, but I don't think I told him to do that chessboard, nor did I tell him to clean the potty chairs or anything, so he's a pretty good child of sin. I'm proud of him. He's a Chad, but with a heart of gold. And come on, eating for two? Eating for two? <gasps> eating for two. So there's another baby or babies on the way. Ugh, how exciting. I really hope it's twins this time. I really do, but I think because we're getting close to the household limit, it might not be. Okay, Alessandro. Oh my god, he has a monster in his bed. I know there's a mod that can change this, and I think I need to install it because it's just so annoying. But I also feel like that's cheating in this challenge. I don't think it's in the official rules, but it does certainly add an element of difficulty, difficulty in the child stage. Because you want them to sleep at night, so then all the Sims can sleep at one time. But then they'll wake up at 3 in the morning and they'll refuse to go back to sleep because there's a monster in their bed. And then you have to get one of the adult Sims to come and spray under the bed. And I've tried the night lights, which I thought they would work for monsters under the bed, but they don't. So it's just frustrating. So that's one of the problems with this challenge is, unfortunately, monsters under the bed and feeding your toddlers because you can't leave food out too long because then it'll spoil so there's a number of things that you don't really think about when you watch someone do this challenge but when you're doing it yourself those things really get to you sometimes or when something breaks and like three people want to use it you know there's there's ups and downs but i think it's it's something to do it's kind of fun to see uh a lot of the interactions that I wouldn't see in my usual style of gameplay, because I usually start with, like, single sims and 
then I uh, age them up and I get them a career. And then I eventually get them married or they have a kid and then I stop playing them. So this is actually forcing me to see what the game has in terms of um, like family, family honed interactions. So she's angry and she's hungry. She's hangry. But thankfully, Isaac just made some mac and cheese. So she will eat that right away and not starve. And I will not get an unhappy notification from the game that she's hungry and she's going to be taking away. Are you serious? Again, with a monster under the bed. Okay, here's my trial of the nightlight. Which I thought it really does work, but we'll see. I haven't had success with it. I haven't had success with it in other um, times I've tried. So this one's custom content, which might work because it showed up as nightlight. Um, but now that I'm thinking, maybe it won't have the same effect. But then there's also a thing I noticed is that if you have the your sim, your child sim selected as like the playable character, you can see the monster under the bed. But then if you a lot of times if you go to the adult. And you click on the bed, you don't see the monster under the bed. So that's that's a little clever by the developers. Okay, let's try this other nightlight. See if that helps because I I don't know what to do with this guy. I just want him to sleep. Maybe he has to bond with it or something. Okay, whatever. Let's just spray under the bed because he should go to sleep. Yeah, Kaylee, go take a shower. You're a little stinky. Alessandro, what are you up to, kid? You're just staring. It's nothing. It do be like that sometimes. As a wise person once said, Oh, look at the baby, so cute. The baby's so cute. Ooh, and a little cr oh, he has a stinky diaper. Oh, she has a stinky diaper. I think I'm going to do it all the time during this challenge. Let's just age them up. There's another one on the way anyway. We need an empty bass and a... And Daisy aged up. And she's going to be wild. A wild Daisy. Oh, that's actually cute. 